Hello everybody. I'm Kat from Yoda Learning Solutions and I'm here to start with you the journey of learning Visual Basic for application, specifically for macros, macros for Excel. Now people ask me, why should they spend time and effort in learning something so complex, in learning something which will take some time? Well, let me show you some examples and these are the ones which are the ones are going to help you streamline a lot of tasks in the future if you are working with Excel or any other data which is fairly large enough. Example number one. Assume that you are working with different worksheets. It could be income statement, balance sheet, fund flow statement, cash flow statement, projections, or you might be working with different locational worksheets. In this case, as you can see at the bottom of my screen, Australia, India, South Africa, Sri Lanka, US, UK, China, workings, one, two, and three. Well, if you have to send this to somebody, it would be preferred that you create an index of sheet names, which if clicked upon should take you to the other worksheets as relevant. Now, if you had done this on your own, you would have to copy this particular worksheet name, paste it in the one of the cells, and then right click. And then say, okay, let me go to hyperlink. And then you'd have to tell Excel, look, I wish to go to a place in this document and then which document, which sheet. Okay, this is the one, the one that says Australia, right? Now once I click on Australia, only then it takes it to another sheet called Australia. Well, can you imagine how much time it would take if you had to do this for almost a dozen worksheets? And not just that. In the future, if any change happens in the structure of the workbook, the name of the worksheets, you would have to re-update this. Well, with macros, only a click of a button. And if the name changes, let's say I'm making Australia as AUS, the short form, let me click on the button again. You notice how quickly it does your task. Well, this was just one example. Let me show you one more. Here before me, I have another workbook whereby sheet one, two, three, four. Four worksheets have different data. The sequence of data are the same. That is the client name, country, city, location of the particular office, and the amount. Now these four sheets contain different names and numbers. Imagine if you had a dozen worksheets with data spanning over hundreds of rows and you had to combine them in one single sheet. What would you have done? Well, you could have copied this. Go to sheet one, paste it beneath. Again, go to sheet three, copy this. All right, I can see that and paste it below. Why? If you had to do this a number of times in a month, in a week, this is unnecessarily spending and wasting time. It is not going to add any value to your knowledge base. Well, with macros, let's see how fast it can be done. So I go to the developer tab, macros, and I click on this macro merge sheets and I simply run it. Something happened in the background. Let me see, there is a new worksheet that got created. And that's the name combined. Well, this has combined all the data in what? One or two seconds at max. So this is what macros can do for you. And before I close this video, let me show you one more example. Something which is based on user-defined function or a formula. Quite often people ask me that the invoice amount that they arrive at in a certain bill amount, I want to convert the number into text. Something which says rupees. 200,050.50 pese, right? So I have this user-defined function, which I'll be talking about in the course of this entire program. Number towards, if I click on any one number and I close the bracket, enter, notice rupees 52,600 only. And if I had a pese, 0.2 and 20 pese. Now, how cool is that? So learn all this and much more in the videos to come. And I would want to believe me and just stay all along throughout the course. And trust me, this is going to be a lifelong investment that you will cherish till the end of your life. So see you in the program.